Hi, Tony Vernetti with Enphase Energy here. In California, there are thousands of homeowners with solar systems under NEM 1.0 and NEM 2.0 agreements. Many of these homeowners now consume more energy than they generate, resulting in an expensive true-up bill. They'd love to add more solar, but have been limited to adding only about two panels before losing their NEM 1.0 or 2.0 status, until now. With Enphase, these homeowners can add as much solar as they want without losing their preferred NEM status. Here's how it works. First of all, the existing solar system can't be modified in any way. You can't add more panels or upgrade components. The solution includes the installation of a new expansion system on the home. Both systems will operate independently. The existing solar system can continue to export energy to the grid for credit from the utility, but none of the energy from the expansion system can be exported to the grid. This is why system sizing is so important. An expansion system should generate enough energy to cover what's being purchased from the grid. For example, if the home's energy consumption is 12,000 kilowatt hours per year, and the existing solar system produces 8,000 kilowatt hours per year, the owner will want an expansion system which produces the difference of 4,000 kilowatt hours per year. In the future, if the homeowner plans to purchase an electric vehicle or other major electric appliance like an air conditioner, they'll want an even bigger expansion system. There are two ways an expansion system can be installed, zero export and circuit relocation. A zero export configuration utilizes Enphase power control technology to throttle energy production at each microinverter in the new solar system. This prevents exporting any energy from the new solar system to the grid. A circuit relocation configuration involves transferring some of the loads from the main panel into a new sub-panel. The new solar system will be used to supply the circuits in the sub-panel, while the existing solar system supplies the loads in the main panel. In either configuration, excess energy produced by the existing solar system can be exported to the grid for full NEM credit. We recommend the zero export configuration using Enphase power control technology because it's the most cost-effective way to comply with the utility requirements. Here are a couple more things to keep in mind. Adding battery storage to an expansion system is a great way to avoid expensive peak rates. A battery will store excess solar energy that can be used in the evening after the sun goes down when rates are at their highest. Enphase expansion systems work great for existing Enphase systems, but they also work great for existing systems that aren't Enphase. The existing system may only have batteries if it monitors a different set of loads than the expansion system. With system expansions, you can now support your customers' increasing energy needs and quickly create new business from your existing fleet. Check our links below for more information including sample diagrams and design guidelines. Thanks for watching.